Hello and welcome to the installation instruction video for the GWS Pro-Q2 5-stage reverse osmosis and alkaline water system. First, let's start by opening the box and checking the contents. Step 1. Unbox and check the accessories kit. First, let's start by opening the box and checking the contents. Step 2. Installation tools you may need. Step 3. Install Pro-Q2 filters. Before installing the new filter, remove the dust cover from the filters and inspect each O-ring for any deformities. Install the filters in sequence according to the numbers on the RO system. Simply twist and lock the filter from left to right. Step 4. Install the RO faucet. Find a good location for your faucet and drill a half-inch hole in the countertop or in the sink using a stepped drill bit. The hole should usually be about a half-inch near the edge of the sink so that the RO faucet can reach the inside and outside of the sink when it's rotated. Turn off the cold water supply valve and turn on the kitchen faucet until the water stops flowing to release pressure. Put the base plate, then the rubber washer through the stem to the base of the faucet. Insert the RO faucet into the hole that you drilled. Please make sure the faucet sits in the middle of the hole. Under the counter, put the bottom pad, bottom washer, metal washer, lock washer, then hex nut onto the stem using an adjustable wrench to tighten. Be careful not to over tighten. Twist the quick connect fitting on the bottom of the faucet stem, making sure it is firmly tightened. Find the blue tubing and insert it into the quick connector. Check that the connection is properly secured by pulling on the tube, making sure nothing is loose and that the tube cannot be pulled out. Step 5. Install the feed water adapter. First step is to determine the under sink compression water inlet size. It should either be a half inch FIP or a 3 8 inch compression inlet valve. If you have a half inch FIP outlet valve, you will need the half inch FIP to 3 8 inch compression adapter. If you have a 3 8 inch outlet valve, you don't need to use any adapter. If you have any other size outlet valves, you need to purchase the adapter separately at your local hardware store. Make sure your feed water valve is still off and place a towel under the cold feed water valve to catch any dripping water. Use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the faucet hose from the water inlet valve. Keep the feed water adapter in the closed position until the installation is finished. Connect the feed water adapter to the cold water inlet valve and use the adjustable wrench to tighten. Connect the original faucet hose to the feed water adapter. Find the orange tubing and insert it into the feed water adapter. Check that the connection is properly secured by pulling on the tube, making sure nothing is loose and that the tube cannot be pulled out. Step 6. Install the tank valve. Open the water storage tank box and take out the tank. Apply Teflon tape in a clockwise direction to the tank thread for about 10 rotations. Hands tighten the tank ball valve onto the threaded system, making sure it is tight but do not over tighten. Connect the yellow tubing to the tank ball valve. Keep the tank ball valve in the closed position until the installation is complete and place the water storage tank near the RO system. Step 7. Install the drain saddle. 
Find a spot on the drain pipe to install the drain saddle, preferably on the vertical portion of the drain pipe. Mark and drill a quarter inch hole, making sure you do not drill through to the other side of the pipe. Remove the back sticker and stick the foam cushion on the front plate, paying attention to the location of the hole. Insert the black tubing about half an inch into the drain saddle and insert the tubing into the drilled hole. Secure the front plate to the back plate by tightening the screws on both sides while leaving the tubing in the hole. Step 8. Connect tubing to the ports on the system. Finally, use the provided lock-in clips to secure any tubing connections. Please making sure to firmly insert all the tubes. First, going back to the RO drinking faucet that was installed earlier, take the loose end of the blue tubing and insert that into the faucet port on the system. Use a lock-in clip to secure the fitting to prevent water leaks. Next, take the yellow tubing which was attached to the tank valve and insert the loose end of the tubing into the tank port on the system. Use a lock-in clip to secure the fitting to prevent water leaks. Take the orange tubing which was attached to the feed water adapter and insert the loose end of the tubing into the water in port on the system. Use a lock-in clip to secure the fitting to prevent water leaks. Take the black tubing which was attached to the drain saddle and insert the loose end of the tubing into the drain port on the system. Use a lock-in clip to secure the fitting to prevent water leaks. Step 9. Starts up the system. Confirm that everything is installed correctly and securely. Make sure the tank ball valve is in the closed position. Then, turn on the cold water supply valve and feed water adapter. Turn off your original kitchen faucet and turn on the RO drinking faucet. Let the water run for 15 to 20 minutes until the water starts dripping. And then let the water drip for 5 minutes. Turn off the RO faucet and wait for 10 minutes for pressure to be built. Carefully check the RO system for any leakage. If there are any leaks, turn the feed water adapter off. If there are no leaks, turn off the RO faucet and turn on the tank ball valve. Let the water fill the water storage tank. This may take two to three hours depending on the water pressure of your home. Replace the quick change filters. Start by turning off your cold water supply and turn off the tank ball valve. Turn on your faucet and make sure that no water comes out. Carefully twist off each filter from right to left and it is normal for some water to come out of the filters during this process. So have a towel ready to catch the excess water. Before installing the new filter, Remove the dust cover from the filters and inspect each O-ring for any deformities. Install the filters in sequence according to the numbers on the RO system. Simply twist and lock the filter from left to right. Turn your cold water supply back on and make sure there are no leaks in between the connections on the system. Turn on the tank ball valve and finally Turn on the RO faucet and drain the first tank of water. The process is now complete! Drink a cup of freshly filtered water and taste the difference. Our Pro-Q2 water filtration system is proven to efficiently remove chlorine, heavy metals and bad tastes and odors all while adding alkaline minerals back into the water to increase the pH. Enjoy fresh, purified water with GWS.